Hello class 3. Welcome back to our grammar, grammar and composition. Chapter number 25. Prepositions. So children, prepositions you people have been doing since class 2. Like on, in, under, behind, near, after, before. All these words are the prepositions. So preposition is a word which is used to show the relation of one thing to another in a sentence. एक से एक चीज का दूसरी चीज से क्या relation है? वो आपस में किस तरीके से जुड़े हुए हैं? So this thing, the word which shows this thing is known as a preposition. Now let's see. The book is on the table. Two things are there in the sentence that is book and the table. What is the relation between the book and the table? That is the book is on the table. आप देख सकते हो? कि बुक टेबल के ऊपर पड़ी है, राइट? तो इट इस ऑन द टेबल, ऑन मींस ऊपर। नाउ, द एग इस इन द प्लेट, टू थिंग्स एग एंड प्लेट। वेर इस एग? द एग इस इन द प्लेट, इन मींस अंदर, उसके अंदर है। द डॉग इस अंडर द ट्री, डॉग कहाँ है ट्री के नीचे, नीचे मींस अंडर। if you want, you can write the Hindi meanings also with you in order to understand clearly. The hen is behind the gate. Behind means piche. Hen kaha hai gate ke? Piche. The man is near the car. You can see the man is standing near the car. Car ke pas me khade hai. So the words like on, in, under, behind and near, these are the prepositions. Now, we come to the next page, B part, let us do this, the tree is in front of the house, in front means, in front of means, aage, and the house is behind the tree, tree ke piche, in front of means aage, behind means piche, Monday comes after Sunday, after means baad mein, Sunday ke baad mein aata hai Monday, and Sunday comes before Monday. Sunday, Monday ke pehle aata hai. After means baad mein, before means pehle. The fan is over the boy's head. A fan aapke upar sar ko touch to nahi karta, lekin aapke sar ke upar hota hai. So this is over the boy's head. The boy is standing under the fan. <coughs> A boy kaha kada hoga? Fan ke niche. नीचे means under. Now we went to the school. हम school को जाते हैं. को गए. Father has come from the office. पापा office से आए. To means को. From means से. The clock is between the window and the painting. आप देख सकते हो. There are two things. और बीच में एक है। जब दो के बीच में एक चीज होती है, then we use between। और जब बहुत सारी चीजों के बीच में एक चीज होती है, तो we use among। The table is made of wood। जब किसी चीज से कोई चीज बनी होती है, तो we write for made of। Made के साथ हमेशा of लगाते हैं। <coughs> Sorry। Bring water for me। For means लिए मेरे लिए bring water for me मेरे लिए पानी लाओ she is standing by the window by the window means window के साथ में लगकर खड़ी है अगर हम कहते हैं near the window तो थोड़ा सा window के दूर means उसके पास खड़ी है राजू threw the stone at me मुझ पे मारा पे हम कहते हैं ना वो दरवाजे पे खड़ा है दरवाजे के ऊपर तो नहीं चढ़ के खड़ा होता on तो नहीं होता ना वो दरवाजे पे खड़ा है means दरवाजे के वहीं पर खड़ा है, so at me मेरे पे पत्थर मारा, पे जिसको आप बोलते हो ना हिंदी में मेरे पे, इस पे, उस पे, तो that is at, do not write with a pen, pen से मत लिखो, से means with means से, now we come to the exercise part that is underline the prepositions in these sentences, the cat was hiding behind the curtain means पीछे Behind means piche. Behind is the preposition. Look at that painting on the wall. 
so here is the one is on and one is at two prepositions are there at and on there was a huge mango tree in the lawn lawn ke andar the carpenter worked at that table from morning to evening worked at that table means us table pe hi kaam karta raha from means subha se sham tak is there any sugar in the jar jar ke andar are you going to the market market ko ja rahe ho sonali is very fond of chinese food fond ke sath hamesha off lagate jaise maid ke sath lagate jaise waise hi hum fond ke sath lagate hain i finished my homework before taking dinner then come to the next page there is no life on the moon he went to the hospital for a check up the driver was standing by the car she did not listen to me carefully an artist paints with a brush i will be reaching home after lunch lena is standing between jyoti and anu don't park the car in front of the gate the car was parked near the gate she washed her face with warm water bring a fresh loaf of bread from the break bakery she bought a bouquet of red roses from the market all these prepositions i have explained to you then come to deep art amrita is sleeping in her bed amrita is sleeping in her bed her mother is sitting on a chair near the bed amrita's table is in a corner her bag is lying on the table so her bag is lying on the table her books are in the bag there is a beautiful painting on the wall above the corner above means uske upar uske thoda sa upar her shoes are lying under her bed you can see all these things in the picture there is a fan just over the bed amrita always works in her room now come to the next page now children all the pictures they indicate the correct preposition the dog is near the cot the dog is near the uh, sorry under the cot cot ke niche aap dekh sakte hain picture mein the cow is standing near the log the fan is on the table the boy is standing behind the wall the lamp is lying on the table the map is on the wall the book is in the bag next the pens are in the drawer in the pictures all the prepositions are clear now come to the ninth part the cat is behind the curtain so in the picture it is clear that the cat is behind the curtain means peeche the river flows under the bridge a bridge ke niche so under means niche now fill in the blanks with the suitable prepositions till now you have understood the prepositions now we can do them very easily my parents live in france from 5 to 6 pm i will be in the park the ball is lying between the bat and the box we write with a pen There is a big mall near our school. Look at these pictures carefully. July comes after June. He took rest under a tree. She will come back before dinner. The jug is full of water. Similarly as we did made of fond of full of. Will you be going to our off to your office on foot? We are all we always go on foot. and by the vehicles by car by bus by bicycle but 
For foot we always write on. No, I will be going by car. I hope you understood this. I'll send you a PDF and children for more understanding you can watch the uh, YouTube uh, link of mine for class 5 also. I'll send you the link if you want. So goodbye children. Have a nice day.